The News of the World, Wednesday, February 11th. Once again, Columbia prepares to call in its correspondents in various world capitals to give you the latest news by shortwave radio. This morning, we shall call in London and Washington and also attempt to bring you the news direct from Batavia in the heart of the Far East fighting zone. In addition, Harry Marble will report on the latest developments at points not covered by our direct pickup. But first, here is the situation in brief. The Japanese are closing in on the city of Singapore from the north and west, but the British have launched some counterattacks. In Burma, the Japanese have crossed the Salween River. MacArthur's men are holding their lines on Bataan. The Dutch are fighting a stubborn delaying action around Macassar on the Celebes and Banjanasan in Borneo. And now, Harry Marble. Before calling in Batavia for the report of William Dunn, here is the latest news of Russia. The Red Army announced this morning that the Germans have lost still another general. He was killed in the Smolensk region west of Moscow, and this time there is no question about how he died. Soviet guerrillas blew up the staff car in which he was riding. The Red Army continues to carry the fight to the Nazis. A bitter battle is raging around Rajev, where the besieged German garrison is trying to fight its way out, and German reinforcements are trying to fight their way in, both without success, according to Moscow. Another battle is raging around Kharkov, the industrial city in the Ukraine, and the Berlin radio admits Soviet gains in this area. For a report direct from the Far East, we take you to Batavia and the news by William J. Dunn. Atlantic for the news.